my name is Roz and I'm the co-founder of Ignite Publishing Services along with my husband Dave. We help authors get their book into the hands of their readers. So today's Ignite Publishing tip is all about the new business card. Now, we have created some business cards for our publishing company and we give these out, you know, to people who we encounter, all right, every day. But suppose you actually create a book book that you actually give out to potential customers or clients all right it may not be everyone you may not have the books on you at all times but when you do carry your books on you you know you can actually give your book out now let me just just, just state this one tip you don't want to create a book that's all drawn out that you put so much effort into and time into. You just want to create a nice, simple book that's filled with uh, some strategies, some tactics, some tips that you can give your customer or your potential customer. All right. Now, I'm going to give you a perfect example. A realtor, for example. A realtor may create a book for a buyer or a seller of a home. Now, a seller of a home, what, do, what are the things that a seller would need um, tips about? You know, how some of the things may be, off the top of my head, I can think of how to stage a home. A realtor may, may you know, they know exactly how a home should be presented for a buyer to be wild and be to, to want to just buy that home. They fall in love with the home, all right? So the seller needs to prepare their home. They need to stage their home. The landscaping needs to be nice. So that's two of the things, you know? And I'm quite sure as a realtor, you can think of a ton of other things that you can actually put in your book. And the book does not have to be all drawn out. It could be a simple book or a couple of pages, but there's some strategies and tactics and, and tips that your the seller of that home can use right at that moment to start preparing their homes for the best sell and the best price that they can get now for a buyer what are the thing what are some of the things that a buyer needs to be prepared for they need to make sure their credit is correct you know they have to have their credit at a certain level they want to make sure that they do not do not buy anything of a significant value on their credit card okay you don't want a large purchase purchase on your credit card just before you actually purchase a home all right you also do not want to have your credit pulled before you purchase a home all right those are some of the two things that a buyer needs to be prepared for when they're preparing to actually purchase a home all right Let's take, for instance, a certified uh, a life coach, all right? A life coach can create a book that's simple, some strategies that their potential customer or client would actually use to transform their life. What are some of the things that they can do right at this, at that moment, that will change their life? They can start, you know, your, your uh, a certified life coach can actually write down some of the things in a book can be, you know, setting goals. How do you set goals? You know, what are some of the things, micro and macro goals that you can do that's going to transform your life, take your life to the next level. But those are some of the things that you can do at that moment as that potential customer or client can do right at that moment where they can actually transform their life. And the life coach can actually create a book like that. And it doesn't have to be a long drawn out book it can be a couple of pages within a book all right what about a finance uh person someone in the finance industry they can create a book where it's going to help their potential customers or clients to to um to to better their credit um stocks and and, and investing some of the different tips on those things you know my husband created a book now your book may not be this drawn out, but this is a perfect example. This is a book that my husband created, Gathering the Pieces, Relentless Faith to Overcome Life Challenges. He's a certified life coach, and one of the things that's on the back is his bio, okay, his bio and his picture. Now, just think about it. Would you rather receive this 
a business card or a book? How impressed will you be if you are you are receiving a book instead of a business card, all right? Also, my husband and I created Stop the Insanity Success Strategies for Credit Repair. We actually have experienced some different challenges in our life on and we actually took some steps to restore our credit and improve, improve our credit and you know, we documented those things. Now we actually we actually wrote a book about it to help others as well. Now, we've also created our marriage book. We've been through um, eight years of, of, of marriage the first time, divorce for 10. Now, as I create this video, we've been married over 10 years in county, all right? So those are some of the books that we've written, but I tell you, how impressed are you when you receive a book versus a business card, all right? So you as an author, think about the industry that you're in and some of the strategies and tactics and tips that you can use a potential to give a potential customer or a client, you know, a fitness coach. Some of the things that you can include in your book, you know, diet, um, some of the best exercises for your client. All those things, but remember, the book does not have to be long and drawn out. These are some of the things that you can just think of um, just off the top of your head that you can include in a book. But the whole idea behind this is the fact that you're giving your potential customer or client a book versus a business card. So guys, I hope you found value in this video. I didn't mean to, to actually draw the, the video out so long, but I hope you found value in this and seeing the, the, the magnitude of how you can wow your potential customer or client by giving them a book versus a business card. So guys, continue to write because someone needs to hear what you have to say. God bless guys and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.